Hello, this is Roundhound TV. Um, giving you another Majora's Mask commentary. So, basically, I'm gonna be playing this game from my childhood. It was a long time ago when I used to play this game, but I really feel like I just want to start it again. And why not record it and put it on YouTube? So let's just start it off here. I love this game. I've played it for a long time. I've beat it at least ten times. But uh. Let's just let's just play, cause I, I'm ready. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for this. So, a boy who after okay, I can't read that one. Done with battles, he once waged across time. He embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. I guess they're uh, talking about Link here after Ocarina of Time. If you guys played that game, basically Link saves Hyrule from uh, Ganondorf, who's trying to basically destroy the world with a triforce with the power so so yeah so this time it's a, it's a new enemy it's not Ganondorf like most of the games have been so as you see he's just in a little forest here he's walking around on his horse Epona and I know what happens he uh, gets attacked by these two fairies which I know he's thinking what a pussy gets beat up by two fairies. But no, no, no. It's just the horse. It wasn't Link. So, uh... Yeah, I guess you could say the horse is a little bit, uh, scaredy cat. So Link's just like, what's going on here? I think he senses some danger. And the fairies are just ready. They're just ready to take him on. So as you can see, I've uh, kind of scared. Link gets thrown off. Then we get our introduced to the main enemy. I used to think that was extremely scary, but I'm not good. But the scariest person I think popped up yet, so. Hee <laughs> hee! You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Why are you kicking me? Oh no! He got the Ocarina of Time! Oh, oh! What a pre Ocarina! Hey Skull Kid, let me touch it! I wanna see! You can't, Tail! What would, what would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it! Aw, oh, but sis, but why can't I try it out too? <laughs> Link's pissed. Oh yeah. He, oh oh. Hey, give me that back. Oh oh no. Oh no. Grab that. Poor Link here's uh got his horse stolen. His ocarina that Princess Zelda gave him herself. And he's getting dragged. He's getting hurt right now. So I guess this day just isn't going well for him. And here we go where he gets thrown off. Boom. And here we go. First sight of gameplay right here. Oh, I remember this game. Alright, let's get, get, get my variants here. Alright, All right, yeah, yeah, got it. That sword way. Okay, and one of the cool things about this game, different from Ocarina of Time, is uh, it's got those cool jump animations. Right, oh my gosh, I would have fell there. That would not have, would not have been good. Alright. Oh, Link falls. And I never understood this part, like... Is he, like, tripping or something? I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. I've seen a bunch of signs. Uh, I was thinking that maybe this whole game was a dream, and... But I, I'm not sure, because... Yeah, you, you just have to look up on the Zelda wiki for that, because I don't really know what's going on. And I... 
don't understand how you get changed into a Deku scrub, but whatever happens. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It did, doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing that thing like that, so I did your favor and got rid of it. What is wrong with you? Asshole. Aw, oh, boo-hoo, what is that face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me? Or something? I don't, I don't know what he said. So now... Like, why would you do this to a human? And what's really, really funny about this game is like... An early point of racism. Sort of. Because like everyone's mean to you when you're a Deku scrub, I guess. Because they don't like Deku. I, I, don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can see this funny cutscene here. With uh... They're just like swarming wings. He's just, he's just trying to get away. He doesn't know what's going on. And, uh, <laughs> big one. Just chasing him. And then, the unthinkable happens. He's turned into a deck. Now, Link is just pissed. Or, I don't know, he's scared, he's surprised. <laughs> the little kid just thinks it's funny. Hey, hey, now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Oh, now. Come on, come on, Link. Go. Oh my god, Link. You're so weak. You get beat up by a fairy. And then she gets up behind. Boom. Oh no. Whoa, whoa. Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Hell, you can't leave without me. Ah, oh, that's funny right there. Too bad. That's what you get. Then she gets mad at you. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring at me and just open the door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you. So hurry up. Oh, Tail. I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. That child's an ass. But, uh... We got some cool moves here. This is honestly why I like Jarrah's Mask better than I can find, because... These have different forms. It's pretty cool. So let's just go through this door. Guess he's just staying back there for some reason. Hey, hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there? I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you. What? You wanna know about Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to know idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. Then it's settled. I didn't even say anything. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch Skull Kid. My name's Tattle. So, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up and to tell you. And Link's just like, what is... what? <laughs> and it's funny because, um... Tattletail? I just realized that now. But, uh... Yeah, he's Deku Flowers, he just shoot up in the... Alright. Just do these puzzles here, they're not hard. Quite easy, actually. I've actually become like an expert at this stuff. Oh my god. There's this mini game in the clock town. That's all about it. It's really. I would use rage so hard about that. Alright, this thing is really cool. Um, Deku not in this game. If you're Deku Link, you can have bombs. So. If you want, you can just drop like that. Pretty cool. There's really no point for him now, so I'm just dropping him. Okay. Oh. Oh, let's see. There we go. There you go. See, you can do it. If you try. I fight over people or objects. You see to talk to them. Easy targeting, blah, blah, blah. Except for that now. Come here and check it out. I know there's something you have to do with the tree in it. I think it affects the ending. I'm not sure. Check this tree. 
It's strange, but the way you look right now looks sort of tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like you start crying. Any second you start to sad. Woo. Trippy. Moving around. Then. Then you can never go back there again. So that's good.